Okay, I consider the auto detect uh, finished, and so I have already some pre compiled uh, binaries here that you can download just um, before I leave back to my outdoor life next weekend. I uh, want to give you my a quick through run, but uh, first, uh, there are two guys really very active here with this uh, Mind Motion uh, 32. Uh, processor they are making some progress but they are also having problems and uh, so uh, here he, one guy he very nice he started a full wiki here uh, and and so really um, if someone of you uh, know someone else who has some knowledge on how to uh, unlock these uh, mind motion 32 or uh, flash or programs please uh, come here to this uh, issue uh, and, and and help these two guys uh, so they won't give up okay the auto detect here that's in the config you have to uh, uncomment here the first line then have these special settings uh, for this remote auto detect there you have to choose between uh, the standard uh, URLs and and so uh, you can uh, here take a simple uh, USB dongle and here it's uh, to the uh, PA2, the master slave here, that's mostly uh, the PA2, PA3. And there you have to check the, not uh, uh, to connect the 5 volt. So first here, uh, measure the 5 volt. And also uh, after you, you here uh, unplug that, uh, plug it here in the USB and then measure here the voltages of the R RX and TX lines because uh, these uh, pins here, they are not a uh, five volt compatible, uh, and, and therefore really make sure that your USB dongle does output does not output five volt. Even so, there might be a switch for three point three volt. This uh, then might only uh, concern the power button and not the RX TX line. Make sure not to uh, attach a three point three volt, and that's why here uh, I use uh, the ESP thirty uh, two. Uh, DS Mini, uh, and therefore I have this simple auto detect uh, uh, a code which is nothing than a pass through. Okay, uh, and another thing here, I now really it, it works with a uh, uh, power supply. This is only 1.5 amp, and therefore you cannot really burn uh, your MOSFETs because this will. Um, uh, maybe it break down, but I don't think so. Uh, and therefore, uh, okay, you could use a constant current power uh, supply, uh, but uh, you can also, yeah. And so let's uh, here that's uh, com fourteen, and and yeah, I think yeah, it's beginning. And then you see nice smileys. <laughs> That's you see if you uh, don't know uh, the, the TX pin, then you don't test a five volt pin, but simply uh, um, test every pin until you get these nice smileys. <laughs> and then here upwards, you you can hit enter, uh, and and then you go to the next stage. And this is a voltage mode, and and here. That's PA4. I start the motor uh, for two seconds because then you can see the voltage drop. That's because this power supply here, uh, you see, uh, it, it voltage is dropping, and that's quite easy to to, to find. So you press V for uh, voltage, and then S for next step. And now it's a self hold pin, so you have to bridge the on off button uh, here. That's here, and hit enter. And then it's testing all uh, pins, and then you should uh, release uh, the the on off button and hit again. Sometimes the board board tur turns off, and and then you have to start again. That's why I've moved this to the beginning. But it did find the uh, the B P B two, and so S for next step. Now it's a uh, uh, cell phone, so release. We still we have not uh, bridged it, so enter. And again, checking all available pins, and then we have the bridge, and and here we are, PC15. That's okay. So S for next step, and now it's checking every pin for uh, uh, 
here. That's a down pin, so it's D, and then comes the buzzer. That's a B and U for up, O for orange, G for green, R for red, and you can press L for this. There's also this onboard LED. Uh, I think that's a P for PCB. Uh, this board does not have one, so that's it. And then S for next step, and now it's doing uh, detecting the faces as a whole, and also the two face currents. Uh, for some reason, it, uh, maybe that's because of the uh, charger. The B one should be. Um, don't know what happened, but uh, that's all we got. So we can already press S to skip, and it already has found the whole permutations and then uh, yeah really uh, mounts this here very fast because then uh, the, the charger it's spinning forward and backward and you see here a6 so it's it's detecting the back currents and even so this does not really uh, it can take it's not a battery uh, so the capacitor uh, on the board I think still allows some back currents and these I can detect. Yeah, so that's it. And then I, I advise to run this uh, cycle several times. Uh, that's the multimeter. Uh, because uh, sometimes it's not fitting. And yeah, it might need some fine tuning. And, and I, I'm really, uh, one guy really tested it and it did help me quite a lot. And all you other guys. Uh, Uh, so this is a second loop you see and still so yeah, that's it and yeah, so and then you simply uh, here uh, copy and paste uh, Copy and You go here you can take the defines to point X, but I've here already uh, created a, a new one and then you simply here uh, copy everything and, and, and that's it. You should go down here to the UART and uh, check if you have these UARTs and if you want to, which one you want to use for remote and which one you want to use for master slave. Then you go to config and you uncomment it and then the normal features uh, show up. And so it's here, it's 12. Uh, 12 is usually uh, here. I already added uh, uh, another uh, MCU, but uh, so 12, and I think now it's in simply F7 for compile. Uh, can we show the results? Uh, uh, yeah, it's zero errors, uh, but um, so um, yeah, turn on the board, it's still on, uh, but I think it had turned off, so we need to turn it on. And we flash it. So uh, that's now succeed flashed. And uh, well, we don't see anything. Ah, yeah, we see already here the, the whole sensor. That's because, of course, we then need to upload the test speed. And here we are. You see, uh, fully auto-detected firmware with uh, all the LEDs, uh, the buzzer on off button, and yeah. Ah, okay, so that's it. Uh, the auto-detect here, really please, if you know someone, um, give a shout out to, to, to give, uh, find someone to help these nice two guys. Uh, of course, here's the wiki. If you have a layout that's already supported and, and you did uh, the trace, you can also add to the wiki. And yeah, I, I should have ordered uh, only two dollars. Here's this. Uh, I, I've completed here the, the PCB and for JLBC, uh, five uh, of these would only cost two dollars, including uh, shipping. So I should have done this a week ago, but now um, in two days I'm outdoor, living outdoor again. Uh, so again, uh, some uh, some of you know KiCad here. Uh, there's this thing, uh, the G and D. I have this big lines, but there's one G and D line I would like to have small traces, and I did not find a way how to um, add some classes uh, to. I have to draw this uh, in first, and then let the auto router uh, start. But okay, that's it. Uh,
talk was about here. I have these, um, you can really download and start if you have a GD32. You have to first check these uh, six MOSFET, but mostly the six MOSFET are the standard ones, and then you can try it. Bye-bye.